Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans, and this is The Electric Singularity. Now, one of the keys, and in fact, I believe the biggest key to Tesla's future globally is their battery technology, particularly the 4680 battery cell technology that they've been developing for the last several years, and are now looking to roll out big time all over the world. Obviously, they'll be releasing these cells in the new Tesla Cybertruck, and they'll be also be putting them into the Model S Plaid Plus. They haven't mentioned yet what other cars they're going to go into, but we also, but we do know they're going into the Tesla Semi. Now, the 4680 battery cell, one would think, according to what we've heard, is being built only by Tesla. However, that's not true. Panasonic, Tesla's partner over the last several years, will also be building the 4680 battery cell. Now, Tesla obviously are massively battery constrained. However, nowhere near as battery constrained as what every other manufacturer in the world either is now or will be within the next few years. Tesla and Elon are thinking big. They're not thinking in scarcity mode. They're thinking, how can we get more batteries? Panasonic, can you do it? Can you help us? Can you partner with us? We'll make this worth your while. Now, Panasonic for years didn't make any money with their ventures with Tesla. However, recently they've begun to make money and that's great to hear. And now they're on board with building the 4680 battery cell. And from reports that I've heard recently, those cells will potentially be up and running by September to October this year. Exciting times, guys. In this article, Mark Kane from Inside EVs says, it's a chance due to high technological requirement at a potentially broad range of applications. According to an interesting Bloomberg article, Panasonic might be very well positioned to benefit from Tesla's new 4680 lithium ion batteries. These new large cylindrical cells, 46 millimeter diameter and 80 millimeter in height, and thus the reason they're called 4680, offer a high potential of cost reduction and improvement of performance. Although there are many technological challenges to produce them at scale, and Tesla has spoken about some of those challenges, including the dry electrode. The Japanese company thinks that its massive experience in battery production, close to a century, incredible, nearly 100 years of battery production from Panasonic, including the know-how to produce 2.5 billion small cylindrical cells annually without major safety issues, gives it an advantage over competitors. And speaking of safety issues, guys, I don't know how Hyundai are going with their recall of all electric vehicles they've ever sold, having to replace the battery packs in all of them. You can clearly see they would have benefited from Panasonic's experience if they had have had Panasonic on board from day one. I imagine they wouldn't have to recall every vehicle they've sold uh, at a huge, huge, massive expense. Just imagine the enormous expense they're going to um, have in having to take all of those vehicles back and replace every battery pack in every car. The Japanese company thinks that its massive experience in battery production, close to a century, including the know-how to build these batteries, gives it an advantage over its competitors, and it does. The new cells are difficult to make and require state-of-the-art craftsmanship, which is a strong point of Panasonic. Producing these large cells requires you to raise your craftsmanship one or two full levels, or there will be safety issues, Yasuki Takamoto, Panasonic's EV battery head, said in an interview. The company's time-tested safety management systems absolutely give us an upper hand here. Now, guys, I don't know how legit this is because, let's be honest, the manufacturing equipment is going to come from Tesla. Panasonic will just be bringing the manpower here and obviously the skill to operate that equipment. But if you've seen Tesla's video on their 4680 fa factory, now, guys, I'm not really sure how legit this comment is because, let's just be honest, the equipment here is coming from Tesla. Tesla has built out the machine to make the machine, and this obviously applies also to their batteries. If you've seen the video they released of their battery factory in California, you can see they've already built all the machinery to build the batteries. So really, Panasonic will be supplying the staff uh, the factory floor space and some ex expertise to help maybe to problem solve if there's any issues with the machinery, et cetera, et cetera. They didn't invent this battery. Tesla did. It's their technology. Back to the article. That's one thing, manufacturing. The second important thing for Panasonic is that the larger cells might be utilized also by other EV manufacturers in electronics. 
which opens the door to reduce the reliance on Tesla as a main lithium iron cell customer. Panasonic is working on its pilot prototype production line for the tests before moving forward on a commercial scale. We know that Tesla is also working on its own in-house production of 4680 cells, but things might not progress as smoothly as Elon Musk would want. Musk himself acknowledged the challenge of mass-producing 4680 cells when speaking at a European battery conference in November. Tesla had produced the battery at a benchtop level and was aiming to have it at pilot plant production level soon. But scaling up the production process is much harder than proving something out on a lab bench, Musk said. I think Musk is being humble here. From what we've seen in the video of the factory in California, it looks as though they are doing a, a really good job of scaling. And I think this article is being a bit misleading and suggesting that somehow Panasonic is going to benefit from being able to sell the 4680 battery technology um, cells and sell those cells to other companies. Uh, it's extremely unlikely Tesla would have not have done it, would have only licensed the cell technology to pa to Panasonic in order for Panasonic to provide Tesla with the batteries, not turn it for anyone else. Other battery manufacturers are also interested in the 4680 format. We already heard about LG Chem's LG Energy solution and prototypes from China. According to some voices at this point, the 4680 format remains an unproven type and only time will tell whether they will succeed on the market. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's unproven. From what I've seen, Tesla have been testing these cells for many, many, many months. In, in fact, for an incredibly long time, they've been testing the semi for a long time with these battery cells in the semi. These battery cells are not an unproven. Tesla's battery expertise is incredibly, incredibly extensive. They've been doing this now for well over a decade. They know what they're doing. The batteries won't be unproven or potentially problematic. The batteries are going to be top next level and they're really going to set the standard in the industry. Now. Obviously, some of this reporting is typical inside EVs, sensationalism, and we can expect that from this website. Unfortunately, that's what they're known for. But that said, let's go to the comments and see if we can find anything here that's interesting. McGolf, M Golf Coast guy says, if they sell these batteries to anyone besides Tesla, will Tesla sue them? And Modern Marvel Fan says, Tesla doesn't have 4680 format patented. Tablet's design is also predated Tesla. I think the only thing Tesla can patent a battery chemical mixture and specific cell construction, even manufacturing method processes can be patented. This assumes that Tesla ha actually has those IP patented, so Panasonic can't produce it on its own. And Spec <laughs> Spec 8 has responded and said, I don't think anyone could patent a cylindrical battery format at all. Philip has said they could patent the specific tablet design that they have and the method of how it is manufactured. I assume that is sort of the secret source. It's not that no one can make a tablet cell, but it is how to make it quickly on a, rap on a rapid fire li assembly line and do it cheaply. It's worthless if you have workers in white gloves individually folding each cell's tabs, which I've seen in other battery factories. Uh, Petune says, but it is clear in fr from many Panasonic interviews that they plan to design the manufacturing process using their own experience. I don't think they are using any Tesla patent at all. Panasonic was before Sanyo, is the one most successful battery manufacturer on the earth, and they have lead battery technology, lead battery technology over several decades. They don't need Tesla to achieve excellence. Okay. I would take that comment with a grain of salt. Robert says, but they could use Tesla to achieve dominance. And Spec9 says, ah, but if someone infringes a Tesla battery patent, Tesla said they won't sue as long as it is for building EVs and they don't sue Tesla. So Tesla battery ideas are open for good faith EV companies. Spec9 has responded and said, you don't use patents. They just define the meets and bounds of intellectual property claimed by the patentee. You either are infringing them or not. Tesla and Panasonic probably have some contact that handles any intellectual property that they develop together. Guys, what do you think about these comments? Do you think this is true? Do you think that Tesla doesn't have a patent? Do you think that other companies can come in and just completely copy Tesla's battery cell? Let me know in the comments. I think that's unlikely. I think that Tesla does have some things here in this battery cell, such as the dry electrode process that other manufacturers aren't doing and don't know how to do. 
And I think it's pretty unlikely they're going to figure that out anytime soon. But we shall see. Spec9 says, go Panasonic, go. Kick your Japanese automaker pals in the butt and tell them to build EVs. Then supply them with lots of batteries. No, 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 no. Bad, bad advice. Don't do that. Don't try and get another business trying to make electric cars. It's harder than it looks. It's a lot harder than it looks. Panasonic are good at doing what they do. That's what they need to keep doing. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've been fascinated by what's happening with Tesla's battery cell factories, battery cell production lines, and their new 4680 batteries. And if you've got any new news on that, feel free, please, to contact me. Just put a comment on the, down in the comment section, and I'll get in touch with you. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.